All right, mates, how's it going? Today, I'm just doing a little update video, just to let you all know that I'm, you know, still alive and uh, what's going to happen moving forward. So I'm just going to use a bunch of captured B-roll footage and there might be a few frame rate drops because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to OBS. So sorry about that. Also, the reason I'm doing this as a video is because pinned comments and text posts don't always get seen by everyone. Um, plus, I'm not on Twitter anymore, which I will talk about in a minute. But anyway, uh, I tried writing a script for The Vow Eternal by Christy Golden, but there's just something about those short stories that I struggle to adapt in the same way that I do the novels. Uh, I'm not sure why. But as a result, I'm not going to do that one at the moment. Instead, I'm going to just move on to the next series, which will be Day of the Dragon by Richard A. Knack. Uh, a person called Arseface pointed out in the comments of the last video that Day of the Dragon was the obvious next choice, and they're absolutely right. It does make the most sense to do that one next. So, well done, Arseface. Uh, it pretty much follows directly on from Beyond the Dark Portal, but at the same time, it's different characters, which is probably a good thing, because we've spent quite a while following Khadgar, Illyria, and Turalyon around at this point. So let's follow Ronin and Verissa around instead. Should be fun because Ronin is like an 80s cliche maverick protagonist, doesn't play by the rules, and Verisa doesn't get to be in the spotlight very often with her two sisters constantly stealing her thunder, so that's nice for her. That series will start in the new year, in January. Gives me a bit of time off for Christmas and stuff, but also, I don't think there's a new working version of WoW Model Viewer yet, which is the problem whenever a new expansion comes out. So even if I wanted to start the new series now, I wouldn't be able to. But I have written a script, so I'm as prepped as I can be to get that one started. But also, I'm going to be doing another little experiment with the next series. Um, you may have noticed the last two Supercuts went up on Hiru's channel. And the reason for that is quite simple, really. He asked me to create a series for his channel. And I said, no, uh, I, d <laughs> I don't have the time to work on two series at once. So as a compromise, he got the Tides of Darkness Supercut when that was finished. And that did really well on his channel. So he got the sequel to that as well. However, I did float the idea to him the other day of maybe doing the old flipperoo so the weekly episodes of the next series would go up on his channel and then I'd have the supercut. And I know, that sounds weird, a bit risky. I don't know if a lack of uploads on my channel over the next few months is going to do some damage. I guess we'll find out. But the reason for doing it that way, it means I probably earn more money. Which is a good thing in the long run because it means I can keep doing this. Unfortunately, uh, my channel is still quite small, so the ad revenue is also quite small. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm lucky to get anything, to be honest, considering this is a passion project. But, uh, but just know that I, I have no intention of giving up or quitting anytime soon. I still very much enjoy making these videos, whether you just kind of lurk every week or if you leave comments or press the like button or even support the channel as a patron. I'm very grateful to all of you and I want to keep making content for you. To be honest, I was expecting Hiru to say no to the idea, uh, because not all of his fans want my shit. They sub to Hiru for the top tens and the history of and stuff, which I'm very aware of, and I don't want to make it seem like I've taken over his channel, but Hiru seemed pretty happy with the idea, so we're going to try that out. And hopefully, his other WoW editors can still bash out frequent traditional Hiru videos, so he doesn't start losing his subscribers en masse. <laughs> but this will probably be a one-off, like I said, just a little experiment. It's not the beginning of me phasing into Hiru's channel or anything. I still very much want to have my own thing, because, you know, I've spent quite a while already trying to build it. This may well be a terrible decision, but I guess that's the nature of taking a, a bit of a gamble. Or something. Lastly, some folks may have noticed I deactivated my Twitter account. Uh, I did that pretty unceremoniously a while back. I feel like when you announce that you're leaving Twitter, it comes across a bit like, look at me. Uh, whereas I honestly just needed to come off that platform. I really don't like social media. I have no desire of being an influencer. Uh, I really don't like the idea of an influencer in the first place. I think people are smart enough to think for themselves. I don't really like being the center of attention at all, surprisingly enough, because uh, I'm quite the introvert. So I've basically no social media presence now, but I do have a Discord and I do read the comments. So there's still plenty of ways for us to, to chat. But I think that's it. I've covered everything I wanted to talk about. Next series will be Day of the Dragon. That'll start in January. The weekly episodes will go up on Hiru's channel and the supercut will go up on mine. And that'll take however long it takes. And that's all the stuff. There we go. 
So have a good Christmas, or whatever it is that you celebrate at this time of year. Thanks again for all your support, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, mates.